it, it, you can't do very much individually. Well, maybe you can, but you, you do it with each birth. But what we have to do as a society is understand that home birth shouldn't be looked on as a crime or something irresponsible to do. It's actually the place where we have our touchstone with the real capacity of women to give birth. And so we, you, if you work in hospital, you actually need home birth midwives to be the innovators that can teach you sorts of things. I could not have probably learned that doing, doing this when you're fully dilated or when your baby's about to come out, I couldn't have come up with that if I worked in a hospital. Why? Um, it's hard to think of things like that. There's a playful or there's a, uh, I don't know, a creative space that you have when a mom is, when you're the guest in her place. Uh, it's different, and you find yourself learning things. That's what I meant about women teaching things. I think uh, it's important to really look at some home births. If you have any chance at all to see some, you can learn things there that you bring into the hospital and should bring into the hospital. Because what we've done in the hospital over my 40 years, uh, just in the first 10 years, for instance, uh, in 1970, the C-section rate was 5%. In 1980, we're with 20. Now we're one in three. That's a very drastic change in what happens in birth and should be matched with a great improvement in maternal and uh, newborn mortality if that was necessary. However, it isn't. And so I just say that uh, we should not worry that some people want home birth. Some people always want home birth. Um, and so we have to, uh, we midwives have to hold together, whether we work in home or in hospital, we have to have friendships across those, those differences because what we can learn at home, for instance, is that some people give birth too quickly to go to hospital. Uh, a labor for some women can take, for the first baby, less than an hour. And you see, I already knew that because I had a neighbor that did that. Some women just can't get there. And um, so who's going to take care of them? Uh, if you have enough of the input of, and some midwives, by the way, would enjoy better working at home, but we'd also like to, when we bring somebody into hospital, we would like to stay with that, that woman. And um, in the Dutch system, for instance, they, it's all teamwork like that. You, you keep your quiet if you go into hospital. When we do that, and occasionally that does happen, then the hospital midwives will often gather around, and they will learn little tricks like that you know, uh, that I learned. Uh, that's just one of them. Um, it's home birth midwives have, have been paving the way for uh, not only hospital midwives, but obstetricians and other physicians to relearn the breach skills that were left aside, you know, during the 80s and 90s. It's, uh, we don't have very many physicians anymore who know how to deal with a breech baby. And as I said, not everybody will have a slow enough labor that you've got time to do a C-section. So it's really nice if you have your uh, not just your EMT physicians and your, your midwives in the hospital know how to deal with breech birth. You need people, uh, paramedics and ambulance uh, drivers and stuff like that. There are just a few little basic things that you could know that would make you not mess that up. 